buying new construction in Summerlin. And that's what I'm talking about today. So let's get started. everyone welcome back to my channel I'm Angela O'Hare your favorite Las Vegas realtor and welcome to my Summerlin series and in this series I'm going to be talking about all the new construction that is happening in Summerlin now this is going to be a two-part series for new construction just because there's a lot to go over here okay in this first series we're going to go over the Red Point and Red Point Square Village new home builds and then also Stonebridge new home builds. In the second series, I'm gonna go over Summerlin South new home builds and Summerlin North new home builds, which believe it or not, Summerlin North has some new construction. What? <laughs> uh, so the point of this series is I've been showing a lot of new home construction lately to my clients, and I thought that this was very important um, to let you guys know what's going on with the new home construction here in Las Vegas, specifically in the Summerlin area. Uh, with the very limited inventory, a lot of people are going the new home route. So it's very important, and I've said this many times, is that if you are thinking about buying a new home construction, that you actually, you need a real estate agent to represent you. We're free. We are there to give you a sounding board. I went this past weekend with my client. We went to look at several new home construction. I was there to assist my client, ask questions that my client wasn't able to think about um, or didn't know to think about. And another thing is that we guide you through an entire process from the beginning to the ending of the whole new home construction. So it's very important, like I've said numerous times, that yes, you can go to the new construction and sign up and register yourself and let that new home sales consultant assist you but ultimately she represents the builder while I represent you as the buyer and I am looking out for your best interest enough about that so red point and red point square is the newest brand newest village here in Summerlin and some of the builders are not quite there yet. However, I'm gonna go over the list of builders that are gonna be in each of those two villages. Then I'll go over Stonegate. So the first new home construction is actually Acadia Ridge by Toll Brothers. This is coming soon in early 2021. Um, so stay tuned to that. However, they have posted on their website the links to each of the model homes that are going to be available. And I am creating a blog post for this so I will link that blog post in the description of below that way you can pull up each of the communities and the homes in that community so with this Cadia Ridge again by Toll Brothers there's gonna be 151 single-family homes in this community the concept of um, what Toll Brothers is doing here in Summerlin is that you can buy a single-story home or you could buy it as an elite plan with the loft option the same thing that they did in shadow point however these models are different than the shadow point originally i thought that they were going to be the same models in shadow point but they're quite different so the square footage is going to range between 2002 square feet to 28 24 square feet um, with three to five bedrooms 2.5 to 3.5 bathrooms and all two car garages and so there will be six stunning models to choose from and um Basically, it's going to start from the mid 500s. Not bad. I like Toll Brothers. It's one of my favorite builders. Next is Carmel Cliff by Pulte Homes. And this is still coming soon as well. Now, a side note, all of these homes will be in a gated community. So all of these subdivisions, which will be at Kaya Ridge, Carmel Cliff, Crystal Canyon, yada, yada, are all going to be in a gated um, community. I don't have specifics on each of them when it comes to the HOA fees. Some of them I already have done my research and visited those new home builds, so I know a little more information about it. But stay tuned, I'm always updating my website with this information. So Carmel Cliff is gonna be a gated community with three two-story floor plans and one single-story floor plan to choose from, with the square footage ranging between 
2,851 to 4,577 um, with four to seven bedrooms, 3.5 to 6.5 bathrooms, and with an option of three to five car garage. Not bad. And the pricing has not been released on this one. Next is Crystal Canyon by Woodside Homes. And they're gonna have six different floor plans to choose from with two collections. Collection one is going to have three single story floor plans and collection two is gonna have three two story floor plans. So in collection one, the square footage is gonna be between 1650 to 1830 square feet with two to three bedrooms, two to 3.5 bathrooms and only two car garages. And starting price on this one is 454,900. Now, this is just a starting price and it could change by the time you watch this video. Things go up as they release new um, lots. Something to think about that um, when you live in, buy in a new community, that price is going to change every time they release a new lot. So this is just the starting price right now, may change. In collection two, they'll offer three two-story floor plans, which is ranging between 2325 to 2395 square feet with three to five bedrooms, 2.5 to 4.5 bathrooms, and two car garage, starting at 449,900, not bad, okay. Now you gotta also think that these are just the base price that does not include any additional amenities. A lot of these builders do provide granite countertops and just basic cabinetry. So they typically say that in a new home, you wanna put 10 to 15% additional um, amenities in your home on top of what the builder provides. Because for the most part, the kitchen and bathrooms are gonna be tiled and the rest of the house is carpeted. Carpeting, come on, who wants carpeting in their house? Not me. <laughs> um, so in this collection, or at least in collection two, I wasn't able to visit collection one just yet because when I did visit it, they weren't open. But in collection two, there's gonna be 87 home sites. When I went there a couple weeks ago, they had already sold six homes. So they are selling fast. And the HOA fees for this community is going to be approximately $115 a month. 67 of that's gonna to go to Crystal Canyon and $48 is gonna to go to uh, Summerlin West. So Summerlin West is always gonna be $48 unless they have a price increase. And depending on which builder you choose, we'll have a different um, HOA fee. Now, the reason you have two HOA fees is because it's in a gated community. Just food for thought on that one. Oh, and the SIDS for this one is $456 semi-annually. And if you don't know what a SID is, Something that most all new master plan communities have, especially in Summerlin, it's SIDS, in Henderson, it's LIDS. And a SID basically is when the builder builds, it's like the infrastructure to the community, the sidewalks, the electricity, all the um, infrastructure that's involved. So the, the, the city charges the builder this and the builder then on in turn, um, tax it on to you and usually they take 15 to 20 years to pay and you pay semi-annually. It's kind of like an additional tax that you pay. One day I'll do a video on exactly what SIDS and LIDS are. One day. And lastly in the Red Point Village is Savannah by Taylor Morrison. And this is also another community that is now selling and there will be two collections with seven floor plants, all single story homes, ranging between 1981 to 2574 square feet with three to four bedrooms, two to three bathrooms, and two to three car garages. Most of them all have three car garages except for one model, I do believe. And there will be 170 lots available. HOA fees will total again 115, 67 for Savannah and 48 for Summerlin West. And the prices start in the mid 500s. Um, so I thought I had gotten the SIDS. Oh, there you go. The SIDS for this community is $588 semi-annually. That's it for Red Point Village. Now we're gonna go into all the new homes in Red Point Square. Now, if you remember watching my drive-through video, the very first video I did on Red Point, the concept between the two is, well, basically the concept between Red Point Square is for the homes to be a little more affordable than 
the typical Summerlin home, especially in new construction. So in this community, there's gonna be quite a few townhome communities and they are starting in the mid to higher 300s, which we'll go over more detail. The number one new community is Accent by KB Homes. And this is a townhome community now open, just opened and it's selling. And there will be six floor plans to choose from with uh, three bedrooms, 2.5 baths and a two car garage ranging between 1480 square feet to 1890 square feet. And there will be a total of 137 two-story units and prices are starting in the low 300s for this one. Next is Cascades by Taylor Morrison. And this community is also now selling. It's a new two and three-story home collection ranging from 1649 to 2242 square feet with three to four bedrooms, two to two and a half bathrooms and two car garages. There are only 56 homes planned for the Cascades, so it's a very small community, and they are selling fast. And Taylor Morrison is an awesome builder. And HOA fees are a total of 184 a month, 136 goes to Cascades, and the 48 goes to Summerlin West. And let's see, the SIDS for this community is $383 semi-annually, and prices start from the high 300s. The next community is Morrow Rock by Richmond American, and this is another townhome community that are offering only two collections, the Chicago and the Boston. And um, let's see, they're, they have three bedrooms, two and a half baths, two car garage, ranging between 1510 to 1520 square feet, and prices start from the mid 300s in this community. Next is Obsidian by Woodside, and this is not available for sale just yet. It will, It is coming soon. Don't know when interest lists are forming for this community, but Obsidian will offer five brand new floor plans and their modern styled homes, including two story floor plans ranging between 1440 to 1598 square feet. Um, and then there will be three story floor plans, approximately 1357 to 1854. And the prices have not been released yet. So <clears throat> stay on the lookout for Obsidian on my website, summerlincommunities.com. As soon as I get the information, I try to update my website as fast as I can. And I will also be doing model home tours of each of these communities. And so stay tuned to that as well. Now we're going to be doing the Stonebridge Village. And this village has been around for a couple of years. So a lot of the communities in Stonebridge are nearly sold out, but there are actually still a handful that are still selling. And I really like Stonebridge because of how close proximity it is to Red Rock Canyon. The views are phenomenal um, and it's just really pretty. And another thing to consider when you're buying new home construction is the lot premiums. If you want a city views, you're gonna be paying for those city views. So the first one on the list is Bristol Val by KB Homes. And this is an awesome community. You have a very good friend that lives here and they also have two collections and collection one is comprised of five floor plans all two-story homes ranging between 1787 to 2466 square feet with three to five bedrooms 2.5 to four bathrooms and all two car garages starting from um, the price in the system as of today which is December 21st states that it's 384 900 that could change, so it could be higher by the time you watch this video. Collection two is comprised of seven floor plans with a mixture of single and two-story homes, ranging between 1858 to 3063 square feet, with three to six bedrooms, two to five bathrooms, and two car garages, and starting price point is 424,900. Um, and it's, it's a nice community. I like it because it's a little elevated where it sits. And I have a client, two clients that are buying in that community right now. We should be closing in the July timeframe. Um, so, you know, for affordability, KB, great value. And, the you know, again, for the affordability and living in Summerlin, this is, I think, the, the most reasonable price community. Right next is Foxtail by Pulte Homes. And Foxtail has a mixture of single and two-story homes. Again, another gated community with six floor plans available, ranging between 2,063 to 2,450 square feet, two to five bedrooms, two and three car garages, 
Of the six plans, three are single story. Starting price is $442,880. So that's actually a pretty good starting price as well. But of course, that's going to be for the smaller size home. Um, next is Gray Cliff by Lennar. And Gray Cliff is also gated community. So all the communities in Stone Bridge are just like Red Point, Red Point Square. They're going to all be gated as well. And you're going to have two HOA fees. You're going to have the gated community fee and then the Summerlin West fee of $48. And all of them are going to have SIDS. Unfortunately, I don't have that information. But again, that's something that I can update as I go through. So in Gray Cliff, there are three two-story floor plans ranging between 2634 to 3214 um, square feet with four bedrooms, three to three and a half bathrooms, two to three car garages, and starting from 603,990. And I also have another client that's buying a home there and his home has a great lot. Now, sometimes people wanna buy in the community when it's released, so that way they get the lower price. But then, as the community progresses, sometimes as they release the lots, you get better as you go further into the community. So it's always something to think about when you're buying new home. Do I buy now when the, it's just released or do I wait till the community is a little more established and then buy then so that you may have a better opportunity to get a better lot or vice versa. If you buy early, you may have a better opportunity to get a better lot. But that lot, they tend to start from semi close up and they work their way back and then they work their way around on the sides so that's how they work next is sandalwood by party homes and sandalwood offers five contemporary um, home plans with various exterior and color choices and again all the models are going to have different elevations different color options depending on what is across the street what's next door to you or what your neighbor is uh, they have three single story floor plans and two two story floor plans ranging from 3151 to 4454 square feet, three to five bedrooms, three and a half to five and a half baths, and three to four bay garages. And the starting price right now is 809,000. Again, prices can change. I love Party. It's another one of my favorite builders just because of the contemporary feel, kind of with a mid-century modern twist to the new contemporary. Um, and the floor plans are great. Even the single story floor plans are pretty awesome. Next is Shadow Point by Toll Brothers. And there's 102 home sites in this gated community. Shadow Point has three single story floor plans and three single story floor plans with a pop-up option. And that pop-up option is basically an, an additional loft with possibly a bathroom. And the square footage is between 2364 to 2879 square feet, three to four bedrooms, two and a half to five and a half baths, two car garages, and starting price is 641995. I also have a client buying in this community and we will be closing hopefully June or July. Next is Starling by Pulte Homes. And it's an all two-story community, gated community, and there are five plans to choose from, ranging between 2806 to 3824 square feet, three to six bedrooms, two and a half to five and a half bathrooms, two to three car garages, and the starting price is 527,880. Last is Westcott by Lennar. And there are three two-story floor plans to choose from, ranging between 1834 to 2099 square feet, three to four bedrooms, two and a half to three bathrooms with two bay garages. And the starting price is $449,990. Um, so that's it for all of the new home construction in Summerlin West. So Stonebridge Village, all the homes are available. You can go look at them in Red Point, Red Point Village. Some are not available just yet, like um, Carmel Cliff, Acadia Ridge, Obsidian, but for the most part, everything is out there. Stay tuned to part two of this series where I will be going over all the new home construction in Summerlin North and Summerlin South. Pretty interesting that Summerlin North actually has new construction. <laughs> and if you would like to take a tour of all these new homes in Summerlin, 
You know who to call, right? Me, right? 702-370-5112. I hope this has helped you with a condensed version of all these new homes. Obviously, they're not pictures. The point of this video is just to let you know that there's a lot out there and that I will have a link of my blog for this video um, posted in my website and I will link it with all the links to all the different models, but all the different floor plans, the options, the pricing, all that good stuff. If you want to learn more about Summerlin, you can always go to my website as well at summerlincommunities.com. As always, if you like this video, you know what to do, right? Be sure to hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, share with a friend, and smash that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.